it's me. And today we are checking out some people having a really bad day. This dude thought it'd be funny to pull a random drive-by prank where he squirts water at a random dude in the parking lot. Okay, go, 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 drive off. Bro, drive, what are you doing? <gasps> off. No, nah, you messing with the wrong person today. I would be terrified. <laughs> he flipped that door like it was a page on a book. Bro, that wasn't funny. That was actually my dad. <laughs> Ugh, you know when you get a sunburn and then the skin starts peeling? Oh, I feel like some of that was not ready to be pulled off yet. She peeling him like some string cheese. You know, hold still. I'm making a satisfying video. It will all be worth it. Oh, well, my guy's in agonizing pain. Oh, that's a good one. I feel like a brand new chicken. Somebody dropped their phone at the aquarium. And the otter just grabbed it. <laughs> Oh, he take it under. Why did he do a tricks with it? Got himself a brand new phone. Like, oh, I always wanted one of these. Yeah, too bad it didn't have an otter box on it. <laughs> Step one, acquire phone. Step two, realize that you don't have thumbs, so you can't text the homies. Oh, delicious. What is that mystery juice? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Bro was so proud of his juice. I'm my very first batch of kombucha. Yeah, this is why you firmly grasp it. <gasps> no, not the mystery brown. So she's on the bus. Just so happened to pick the seat with the mystery brown stain on it. You know, it's already too late. It's already shot in it. I mean, sat. <laughs> you know, it could be anything. You know, it could be dirt. It could be cocoa powder. It could be a skid mark. Possibilities are endless. You know, why don't you sniff it and find out? Oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, this do be happening. Some of us just got butterfingers. You know, at least you got to do the toast. Hope we weren't planning on drinking that. Getting the pizza out of the oven. Why you got pickles on the pizza? Whoa, whoa, it's on fire. You know, I'm not even surprised. Expected nothing less. I think this is all very well deserved. In the average day of somebody who puts pickles on their pizza. Nah, you deserve this. The pizza unalived itself. This is on you for creating an abomination. That's a janky bridge. Why are you jumping on it? Oh. Mm. <laughs> you know, not so funny when your phone jumps out of your hand. Boo-hoo, well if it isn't the consequences of my own ass. Cousin's first day at the job, I got him. And he did this. <gasps> oh, it just keeps going on. <laughs> no! I guess he wasn't forklift certified. Oh no, the workplace is in shambles. Imagine this happening on your first day. You know, not many people could say their first day was also their last day. Woo! Little bro got the popsicle stuck in his mouth. So what do you do? Put some water? <laughs> you still got an iron grip on it. Like, you still gonna let me eat it, right? <laughs> like, it's on there good. When I put my passport in the washer while I'm studying abroad. <gasps> the pages are still intact. It'll be okay, right? No, as long as you have it. I feel like it took a good washing. Those are some sturdy pages. The worst fear. Their AirPod dropping in one of these grates. But he pulled it out with a wire. Okay, it's almost there, so <gasps> Oh no. I mean, if you did it once, you could probably do it again. Like he almost got it, he like got it up. Put it up on, ah! This is so hard to watch. Palms are sweaty, his weak arms, spaghetti. Hot, and where did it go? Yo. How does that even happen? Some luck. It bounced off the ledge and then went in there. Like, that's just unlucky. It's time to shake the machine. Man, this dude, what this kind of parking is this? this? How do you park that close to somebody without even touching them? Oh, there is no getting out of this one. Pull your car out. I told him, I'm going to pull my car out and you paying for all the damages because why would you park this close? <laughs> Honestly, he's not touching him. So I don't know what crimes you committed against this person for him to want to park this close to you. Like we ain't getting out of this without a scratch. So this was on the surveillance camera. She was trying to move this cart full of trays. Why you got your foot there? What, what are you doing? It's gonna fall. Bro, what are you doing? It was going to fall. 
pull. Like, why pull it over you? Oh my, she folded like a pretzel under there. Ouch. I mean, for real though, it looks like it was stuck, but like, what were you trying to do? Ugh, no good. Why would you cut your bangs like that? I thought I was bad at cutting bangs, but then we got her. What was that? You cut it up here. Is that what you were going for? She didn't want her bangs anymore. She just cut them off. I'll be wearing a hat for the next six months. Oh, you should never trust a toddler with scissors. She was supposed to cut the balloon for the gender reveal party. Cut the balloon off the string. Guess we'll never know the gender of the baby. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? The balloon flying into the abyss. I don't trust toddlers with scissors. When I was a toddler and somebody handed me scissors, I cut somebody's ear in half. Now, why don't we learn from my mistakes? You don't have to flip it that high. Whoa! Okay, you were really doing the most with that flip. It didn't even flip on the cook side. I mean, personally, she flipped more than the tortilla did. Dishwasher is the real victim here. She got me tea and she got me the chicken soup. Oh my goodness. This is exactly why you don't eat on your bed. I don't care if you got a cute little tray. Now instead of doing your little tiki taki, you gotta clean the bed sheets. The worst part is washing the duvet cover, putting it in the dryer three or four times until it's fully dried, and then putting it back on your blanket. Was it worth the little snack on your bed? No. I know that's not how you put your drink down. The last minute save. There is no salvaging this. Oh my goodness gracious! Like it flipped upside down, like you had two chances. Oh, flipped it, got it, and then, again. Also, what are you drinking, just straight up milk? You know, Starby's really got some nerve calling this a latte. For all my girlies that need a little birth control. Am I in trouble? Yes, you're in trouble, the <laughs> What do you mean am I in trouble? Like, what exploded? There is powder all over the room. Am I in trouble? Yes, you're in trouble. <laughs> That kid had a whole entire laptop. You have direct access to watch Coco Melon videos, and you still cause this mayhem? Grandma, what you doing? Oh! Is Grandma all right? I'm sorry, she just... You know, I thought the dog pushed her or something. No, I mean, not even those life alert necklaces can save her now. Bring in the cake! Nah, I would've just left my own wedding. Y'all really watch these two guys. Drop the wedding cake. And take a tumble with it. Personally, I'm gonna be eating the cake off the floor. Okay, it's all fun and games until, yep, there it is. <laughs> Me before reading the manual. Like, oh, this is so fun. Oh, you know, if you're wondering what happened to the kids in school who used to like push back all the way on their seat, this is them now. You know, sometimes you need to take a tumble to learn a lesson. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodie shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.